Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer Miller. <laughs> I am a mother, I am an author, and I am a makeup lover. Today's video is a very exciting video and as in, as in, I was thinking, I've seen other people do this, but I was thinking this would be nice to make a series of this. I believe Anya Stopper, she started a series. I don't know, I haven't seen many of them. Um, meaning I don't know if she continued them, but um, this is a uh, dupe that look type of collab. Um, we decided, or I decided, I would like to choose small YouTubers. Small YouTubers that are amazingly gifted, even if they're not amazingly gifted, just that are gifted and good at makeup that don't get the recognition. Sorry, there's a little, yeah, a little fuzzy. Bye-bye, little fuzzy. <laughs> My headband. Spring. <laughs> but, um, so I asked the girls in our little collab group known as the Faithful Fab, Nine, <coughs> if, excuse me, <coughs> if anybody would like to be part of it. And all but one said yes. So I thought that was super cool. And we, or Faye, who leads the group, decided that she would choose the first one. And she chose, sorry, my phone fell. <laughs> she chose Queen of Hearts. It's actually Queen of Hearts underscore LA. And I'm not certain her name because she's new to me. But, um, sure her name is well I'm sure she says her name in the video somewhere and I've watched a couple of her videos but I'm bad at memories there's so many I yeah we just won't go there but I do have a look and I'm going to show you a quick I'm going to She's talking about a collab. After watching this video, definitely. In it, she's talking about a collab she did. It's interesting that I'm going to reproduce a look that she did in a collab, right? So the look is is simple for me because I'm not talented, but I would like to press myself and to practice more complicated looks. So, by the way, if you hear my children in the background, I apologize, but I am a mother. So. And they're, they shouldn't have to be quiet all the time. I do ask them to try to leave me alone during filming, but you know, things happen, move on. Okay, so in this look, we're gonna kind of fast forward to where she starts it. Because, girl, I need help. Primer potion definitely has your makeup looking all day and night. She uses first, this yellow color. I'm going to be using this one, my ABH Norvina palette. And it's, she uses the ABH Norvina palette. And I've already primed my eyes and did my eyebrows, but I am going to use the James Charles Morphe palette. And I think this yellow here, and I have the name still, but I'm not going to look it up. This yellow here is the closest to what I need. And if I'm not mistaken, she goes in and puts it in her crease. Three and the color E4. And I'm gonna be tapping that all over the lid. And then I'm gonna be blending it out with a fluffy brush. Okay, okay. Nice shade Okay. So. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. You're welcome. Today's video is very exciting for me because it's my first Sorry. purchase ever. Uh, Sorry. 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 Sorry.
this Josie Moran stick is good, but it's not quite where I want it. So we already started with that. A fail, but you know, life. We move on. Maybe if I do another one of her looks, it will be better the next time. as pigmented as hers, but she does use the ABH Norvina palette, which is known for its pigments. It's a pressed pigment palette, so it is totally known for it. And man, oh man, I am so disappointed. Over the weekend, she had a 30% off, and she had 30% off all her palettes, and including the Norvina palettes, which turned out to be the price of, with 30% off, the price of her regular palettes, and I was like, ha! Huh? And I was this close. I want those palettes so bad, but they're so super expensive. Okay. I think we got that one going on. certain who was all doing this. I'm sorry, I was actually reading a text from a friend. Um, and I'm, I'm not certain who was all doing this. I do know that um, I know about two or three and I will link them down below. They're all from my group, but um, our group. Hello. Sorry, mishaps and then malfunctions and yep this is, you know the likes so I wanted to um, show you what she goes with next I'm picking up from the Norvina volume 3 palette it's I don't know if you saw it but it's this nice it's this is a uh -oh. um, it's this kind of shade right there nope that kind of shade sorry this kind of shade. I was right the first time. That almost looks yellow in the thing, but in real life it's more of a like a real peach orange. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to use this fluffy brush here. It's my handy dandy shadow switcher. Um, and from what it looks like, so the first color that I'm going to use is this color here called Lust. Ah. So I'm going to go ahead and. How did that happen? I do not know how this happened. Nina Palette Volume 3 and the color E4. And I'm going to be tapping. Sorry. Next shade, but I'm picking, blending that out. Sorry. Just a I'm little saying bit. that a lot. This is the first time. And then after this, I'm going to be picking up the shade. Okay, we're going to do that. Looks like she kind of goes into the crease. I'm not quite sure. She just says blending it in a little bit. And I'm, it just kind of looks like she goes back and forth in the crease. Just kind of to darken it up, it looks like. I'm going in with my favorite crease brush. This is by BH Cosmetics. It's part of a collection. I am sorry that yellow did not show up very well. It really did on her and it really looked gorgeous. But on my eyelids, I guess I just didn't have a thick enough layer of concealer. Sad face. I'm using my son's phone because my phone is a good phone, but it stops at 30 minutes 
58 seconds and this is gonna be longer than 38, 30 minutes. Oh shoot. Yeah, nope, this is gonna, yeah, sorry. I thought I was on pause. No, I'm not. <laughs> Don't mind me. Things up on my phone, I'm like, leave me alone. So, yeah, I've got that in the crease. Sorry about my fingers in the way. Okay, now I'm gonna go see what she does next. So, she goes in with another one for the Norvina palette. It almost looks slightly healthier. Holy moly. Can't win for losing here. It almost looks like the same exact shade. Shade A. And I cannot dupe it no matter how I try. So, mine's going to be a little darker. So, I'm going to go in with this one right next to it. It's more of a red, but maybe if I do shear it out enough it'll work so i'm gonna i'm gonna actually do that off camera real quick sorry see my phone i can't do it i can't hold it off i need two more arms okay go c2 and add it to the corners of the shadow just to hope you saw that i'll show you just one more time video, i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other eye you're gonna pick up c2 and add it to the corners of the shadow just to blend it in. And she adds that to the corner. I can do that. I can do that. And I have the perfect shade and it's not in this one. Actually, I could do something from this one, but nope. I have a better shade. I have a better shade and it's from a more, well, treasured palette. I mean, James Charles is a cool palette, but this one happens to be a treasured palette because the Miss Diddy de Court gave it to me. And I believe she goes in with a shade like this. So I'm gonna take a small blendy blendy brush. A small blendy blendy brush. Do I have a small blendy blendy brush? Okay, we'll use this. We'll use this. Going with that color. That color is known as a hummus. I really hope I do her justice. She looks very talented. Like it's not new to her. I've heard of her before, but I've never subscribed or watched her videos before. Just so many to watch anyway. But for this, you know, we kind of had to to learn and. Yeah, she is really talented, so. And I love my my sisters from another mister for doing this with me. Um, I would have done it by myself, but I'm glad I don't have to because I think we need to uplift the smaller YouTubers and sometimes it takes a little to get noticed. Maybe all these separate channels will notice her more. We'll get her noticed a little more. Um, Queen Parks. Okay. Now, let's see where she goes next. As like, phone keeps on shutting off. All those beautiful colors. And you're going to go ahead and do the same on the other eye as well. I don't see anything wrong with showing then her. Then you're gonna go Did ahead and right? take off the crazy tape that you have. I don't have tape. And apply your favorite concealer. Okay. To cut crease, and you're gonna pick up the same okay. color that we use. Okay. She does a cut crease. I can do a cut crease. Let's see. Does she do a full one? Pretty close. She does it to about here. So let's do that. We're going to go off camera. This is going to take a minute. Okay. Crease cut. I hope these two will mesh together. I know I can do it on this thing, but I don't know if I can get it exported. I hope I can. If not, I won't be part of my own video. Clap. <laughs> okay. So, I cut my crease. Let's see what else she does. Shoot. There we go. You 
was in the beginning was E4. We're just going to add that to the inner corner part of the eye. I like your music too. So if I'm not mistaken, because I watched this video before, she goes almost all the way over with it. And it looks like a very, very, she says, if I'm not mistaken, she says it's a sparkly shade. Said something about using it before. I don't recall seeing her use it before in this one, maybe in another one. But um, I have this one right here from my BH Cosmetics foil, foil eyes. And I believe this is the first one. It might be the second one. But, so I figured that would be a good shade. And I'm going to go in with this little, tiny little brush that's got that. Go, 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 go. Don't put that on my clothes. So, I'm going to go in with this color. And I'm going to fill that in as best as I can. She goes in with a, a slightly darker shade of yellow, almost to a like a like a topaz. So I'm going to go in with this color right here, this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and use my fingers. She uses some glitter glue. Um, this is a good shimmer. She uses Smoke Sessions from um, the Melt Cosmetics. As a matter of fact, I remember I uh, messaged her down below. Which one? That was <laughs> that is cool. I think I will get that. And she just puts it on the outer corner, kind of where one meets the other. I'm not nearly as good as she is, but you know, we gotta all just go with it. Um, my daughter is just amazing. She just blows my mind. And, how good she is at this. And then, real quick, <laughs> sorry, she also goes back into whoopsies. She doesn't go to whoopsies, there's no whoopsie. But me, I don't have that much space, so it's all like, yeah. and I showed you before. She goes back in with that same outer red color. And so I'm gonna go back, oopsies. I keep saying it, oopsies. And I'm going to go back in real quick and I'm going to blend that out and in. And I probably, just because I lost it, I'm going to take it up and over just a little bit. Off camera. Okay. The rest of the video, she just basically does the rest of her makeup. I mean, she doesn't show it all. She's putting on mascara and I think she does go into the rest of it. But I am going to do the rest of that off camera and I will let you know what I use. So, and I don't think she uses a liquid eyeliner, but if she does, I will be doing that too. And I will put on mascara. I've already got my brows on. Yep. So I will be back in, or actually a second. All right. I am back. I am back. <laughs> Silly girl. <laughs> okay. Got the finished look done. I went ahead and um, she didn't do, I couldn't figure out what she did with the bottom. She put the white on, I didn't do that, I don't have that, but I did leave it blank. Um, looks a little bit brighter, bigger eyes. But uh, I went in with, because uh, she used a Mobby brownie cut of lipstick, and so I went in with this. It's, it's, it's Ulta. <laughs> it got nothing on it. It's Ulta. I don't know. So, it's that's what I got on my lips, and I went ahead and took that red. Just something I didn't see her do, but I, she had something in the corner. But took that same red that I buffed out right in the outer corners and put it right there. So I think I did decent. This is purely to pay homage, homage to small YouTubers to get them a little more noticed. Not saying that she got more viewers than I do, but sometimes, you know, run different circles. So maybe I will have a few that have never heard of her and then we'll go over there. So that is my goal. That is my, and just to pay homage to them. Not so much, yes, to get them more viewers, but 
that's kind of a bonus, whereas the whole idea is just to say, hey, I like what you do, I think you're good, I'm going to pay homage to you and do the look. So this is a look that um, Queen of Hearts did in um, her video. And it was a collab video of all things. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cute. But I like it. I like it a lot. I like it so much I might reproduce it sometime. It is really cute. I am, I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I'm living it. This is cool. Okay, so I will link everybody that is in the video down below. I do not know who all some have, might pull out and some might come back in. But I am, um, I will link them all down below. They're all wonderful ladies. They're all part of our little Fab, Faithful Fab 9 group. Um, that not everybody, like I said, is in it, but they're all part of it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go visit the other girls' channels and also maybe go and buy um, Mrs. Mrs. Mm, Queen of Hearts underscore LA. And she is awesome. She is really good. I am going to be watching more of her videos. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Don't forget to click the like button, comment down below, um, give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, that was the like girl. <laughs> Subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.